Hi everyone, Victoria from Sleek Ballet Fitness here. And whether you are a member on our Sleek Ballet Fitness app or just visit us on our YouTube channel, the questions are usually the same. How do I get a really strong, defined core, a nice lifted booty and toned legs, and for us women, most often than not, toned arms without much bulk? These are the questions you get fired every day in our workouts. Really, really try to do that and define that for you. I have distilled two really good exercises that we use a lot, which are fantastic for those areas exactly. The bottom and upper leg into our core with the little added benefit of having some arm work in there too. So two really quick exercises you can do daily. For multifunctional, you want to be standing, you want to be moving around when you're starting with any new technique to really refine those movements and get everything fine in the right order. Getting some function down your mat first is always a good idea. So here they are, let's start on our backs. So rolling down into the mat, just making sure the spine is nicely flattened towards the mat. I want you to take your hands either side of your legs and just splay the palms slightly. Start with the heels drawn into the bottom. I'm going to take a pelvic tilt. So pulling up from your pelvic floor. This isn't a hip press just yet. It's a tilt of the pelvis. So we just lift the lower few vertebrae off the mat. Again, we're squeezing gently into our abdominals. We're in a nice stretch across the quadriceps. We're starting to engage in those glutes already at this height. From here, we want a little bit of sneaky arm work in there as well. So press those palms together. This will really fire up those pectoral muscles, help to lift your chest and really firm everything on your inner arm. From here, third phase, we're gonna push the hips up high to a full hip press as you release the hands and send them back above your head. So you're squeezing those glute muscles tight as you push those hips to the ceiling, getting a nice shape into the buttocks, into the hamstring and upper leg. We're also resting on our shoulders and pushing them open, splaying those fingertips to the floor. And on the reverse, don't move the hips, just bring the hands to the chest. So again, firing up those pectorals, keeping the hips high for another four, three, two, and one. Then the releasing the presser from between your fingertips, gently roll the hips down so everything lands in one, fingertips and hips down to the floor. Let's take that one more time, roll with the pelvis, tilt up. So like a swing, just tilt the pelvis forward. Motion comes from the waist and below. Then taking the hands across your chest in a prayer position. Real pressure from the heel of your hand to the ends of your fingertips and your elbows are at right angles. Then pushing in one motion, hips go high, arms go back. Again, squeeze those hips a little inch higher towards the ceiling. Hold for four, hold for three, hold for two and one. Then just the hands, keep that pressure up and release hands and hips together. Let's take that twice more, the tilt of the pelvis. Hands to the chest, pressure through those palms. In one, we push the hips up high, shaping those glutes. And this time, if you want a bit of inner thigh work as well, we're gonna add a pulse, pressing the knees together. Push for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. You should start to feel a little burn into the tops of your legs and glutes, take the hands back to your prayer position and then release hands and hips together. Let's take a fourth and final set so we peel that pelvis. So again, picking up for the pelvic floor, engaging those glutes. Hands across your chest. You should feel those pectoral muscles fire up as you put pressure between those palms. Then in one count, push up and arms go back. Again, let's pulse. Knees together, press, press. Last four, three, two and one, bring the hands back the way they came, pressure through the palms, hips are lifted to the final second, and release hands and hips together. Well done, just draw those knees towards the chest and get a gentle stretch, just into the backs of the legs, you can mobilize that lower back slightly with a gentle rock. Then extending, moving on to our core work, our second exercise, extend the feet, extend the hands, lengthen the torso, we always wanna keep long lean, Nothing crunched or bunched. Can you stack the upstage foot, the one furthest from your screen, on top of the downstage toe? Now, can you bring those arms back to that press position either side? So gently stay. And this time, can you put actual pressure down, connection from the top of the arm through the forearm, right down into the fingertips? And imagine you're pushing your rib cage off the mat. So you're almost levitating. You can almost slide a piece of paper underneath your rib cage by pressing and resisting against the mat, you should see toes start to come into the upper arm straight away when you do this. And even though this exercise is core focused, 
we're already getting that, at, that arm activation as well. So press and hold, keep that pressure into the floor. Then as we tilted our pelvis up, we're going to start this time in reverse. We're going to start with our upper back, our head, our shoulders and neck. As we lift our arms to a third arabesque, this is classical third arabesque. So here we're focusing on our lower abdominal panel. It starts to work into our upper as well, but where, but where we have the feet stacked really engages that lower bell, which is really hard for us women to get to sometimes. And then on the release, take the hands back to the head, hold and hold it here, and then slide the palms back down, roll those shoulders back and we engage, push. Pressure into the mat with the upper arm, the forearm. You'll see even just this tiny movement, you'll get a little quiver on into those triceps. Hover and hold it there. Think of levitating your ribcage off the mat and then release the pressure and peel up. The upper back comes off, arms in third arabesque. So your gaze is looking out between your hands. Don't crunch this neck. Lengthen out and then hands back to your head. And as you lower, slide those hands down twice more, let's reconnect. Press the arm into the floor, roll those shoulders back. Press your right from your upper arm, your forearm through to your fingertips. On the release, peel up from the top of the neck and extend those arms to third arabesque, hover and hold it here. Engaging that lower abdominal panel, especially after two children. This is a nice low impact one with really high results. Hold it there, hold it there, hands back to the head, and gently lower down and slide. One more set, roll those shoulders back and press. Open the chest, feel of levitating, hold it, hold it and release. Good, looking up past the ends of the fingers, drawing that tummy in and firming that abdominal panel. Hold it. Good, hands back to the head, hold for one more second and then release it down. Pressure into those palms one more time, draw those knees in towards each other and rocking up to sit. Come to face me just for a second, well done. Let's stretch those areas out, the glutes, bring the arms across the chest. And press those elbows back, lengthen out into those triceps. And on the release, can you bring those arms forward and stretch into those glutes, walk the bottom cheeks back. And just take a moment here to stretch out this outer hip area, those gluteal muscles we worked in our first exercise. Again, four reps of each is fantastic. We're going to take the whole thing on the second side. Walk the hands back to the body and turn. So, turn on your opposite side. Again, roll back down to the mat. Connect the spine, nicely flattened out, draw the heels in towards the bottom. We're going to go and take those hands either side of us. And we'll start with a pelvic tilt. So from our pelvic floor, a feeling of zipping up, tilting the pelvis, lifting the lower few abdominal off the mat and hold it here. Then pressure through the palms. If you take your prayer position, feel those pectoral muscles fire up, starting to lift that chest. Well done, hold it here. And in one motion, send the hips up, arms behind your head. And this time, if you're ready for one more progression, you can lift those feet up onto demi point, squeeze the hips a little higher as we take our adductor pulses, press for eight. Seven. So you can keep it exactly the same as you did on the first side, but if you want to step it up, you can raise the feet up onto demi point. So we work a little deeper into that hamstring glute attachment, and lift that seat a little more. We also get some nice calf engagement as well, so working right down. Flat feet or demi point, your choice. Heel the pelvis. If you want to rest one face further, hit those high demi points. Hold it here. Pressure through those palms, stay on deadly point. As you send the hips up high, arms go back. Hold four, three, ready to pulse it out, knees together, press for eight, seven, six, five. Any quivering in the glutes is good, it means they're working hard. Final one, bring the hands back to a prayer position. Pressure working into those pectoral muscles. Release the arms and legs together, give me two more sets. Peel the pelvis, hold it there and bring the hands to chest. In one motion, hips go high, arms go back. And again, hold four, three, two, start to push those knees together. Good, give me four more, three more, two more, and one. Bring those hands back to a prayer position. Release the hands and hips together. One final set. If your calves are getting tired, you can always come back down to flat. The exercise is just as effective for our glutes. 
This adds a little bit of work into the hamstring and glute attachment and of course the calves as well as we gently pulse on demi point. Four, eight, seven, six, five. As dancers, strong toned calves are really very beautiful and very essential for point work in Allegro. Two and one. Bring the hands back down, pressure through the palms and then release. Well done this time as you draw the legs in. Get a little rock again to release into that lower back. Good. Then take it out to a full extension, flex those toes back and just beat those calves out, especially if you've done that second side on demi point. Relax it off and then stack the upstage toes. So we're on our second side here onto your downstage leg. Then we take our hands either side of our body and again roll our shoulders back, connect the upper arm, the forearm and the fingers to the floor. Press and feel like you're lifting your rib cage off. So there's a nice counterbalance, push down so the chest to go up. Then on the release, peel the top of the shoulders, head and neck off the floor, look past the ends of the fingers, arms are in third arabesque. So the back arm higher than the front arm. Lengthen the fingertips, don't break that line. Elongate, the gaze goes past the ends of the fingers, hands back to the head and as you release, slide the fingertips down, roll those shoulders back and again, press and resist into the mat. Good. As you release, peel from the top of the neck, release and hold. Take the arms back behind the head and slowly release it down, pressure, roll those shoulders back so we're working into our triceps here. We're working to tone the arms at the same time as hitting those two key areas, the upper leg and now our abs in this second exercise. Reach out past your third arabesque, hands back to the head and lower. Well done, one more time, roll those shoulders back, press and engage. Feel the tone coming into the arms, that gentle quiver starting to happen. Lift up, look past the ends of the fingers. And remember this stacking action of the feet helps to engage that lower band of your abs. It's really important. Feature of this exercise, take the hands back to the head and lower down. Good, this time drawing the knees in, get a gentle rock, massage that spine three times. And this time as you come up, extend the feet and arms to fit. Good, just releasing off the backs of the legs by walking the bottom out and lowering the upper body to the lower. Take a couple of breaths here. With either flex feet or pointed. And then coming to face me, cross leg, let's take that final stretch. So try crossing the other leg on top this time so we're really even. Take that big pull of right up to fifth. Elbows open, frame the face. Slide the fingertips down, stretch out towards me, walk the bottom cheeks back. And again, take a couple of breaths here. And walk the hands back to your body. So two really fantastic exercises you can do for this upper leg area into our glutes, our hamstrings, our quads. And then of course, hitting our core with our second exercise, low impact in terms of our Back is supported, and most of our torso is supported, but really effective for hitting that lower band of abdominals. Especially women after childbirth, this is an area we do have a predisposition to store more fat, and it's a great way of getting to that area without too much high impact on our lower backs. Um, take that one with you. Come over and join us on our Sleep Ballet Fitness app for more full workouts, and I will see you next time. Remember to like and subscribe, and let us know what you'd like to see more of on our YouTube channel. Take care for now.